Hey you guys, just getting to the shop here. Be working on the little Mustang today. Put the wheels back on it, stuff like that. As I'm doing stuff. Show you guys. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these wheels back on it on both sides in the back. They've been off for a while. So you guys can see we cleaned it up. See the springs, how nice and clean they are. Uh, everything's original on this. Everything come out really well. She even got that little mark there. You get your paint marks. Coil spring. Get your mark there. Even the gas tank. Look how clean that gas tank is. So anyways, so I'll show you guys. We'll get the wheel back on it. Well, let's put this drum brake so you even have these little pins here The old nuts back on. Like I said, we said the original locking nut. All right, let's get these on here nice and tight. All right, there. And the last one, the one with the original locking nut. Got to still have the paper on here. What's this say? Important notice. It says, important notice, your new vehicle has locking nut feature. Each wheel has one locking nut. Hey, original, look, you even have a little mark right here. All right, let's just lock this one in place. There we go. Get the cap back on it. Get the, the marks from my fingers off. There we go. Look at how nice that looks. All right, so I got the other one on on the other side. Hey, right, as you guys, I'm going through the car there, still checking things out. You guys see the seats here, looking really good. I'll show you guys driver's seat. The driver's seat looked a little bit rougher We'll go take a look at that. I'll show you guys, I found some paperwork in the car. It's nothing much, but see they registered it. See right here, the car was registered 1998 to 1999. And then the one on top was 96, 97. Here's some insurance papers from 1998, you can see here. I guess they registered it in July. Must be they wanted to drive it for the summer. And uh, something else I noticed as I was looking at here, I noticed something right here. Look right there. So we're gonna look at that. Must be the oil sticker. So let me pull that out of here. Let me pull it out so we can take a look, see what it says. Get it right here. Let me put it here. All right, this is from, it's gonna be backwards because the way it's written, we can put it like that. All right. Carignan Ford Inc. Phone numbers. This place does not exist anymore, so don't even try to get hold of them. It says Montreal. 
Look at the mileage here. Can you guys catch that? 28th of April, 94, 87.46. That must be that they they forgot it because for sure they've changed the oil since then. It must be they just left it there. They never thought about going back, taking that off. So I'll, I'll put that in the little file that I have going on for this car. You know, as we're going along here, you never know what you're going to find, huh? Never know. Never know. Told you guys I got the new battery for it. We got the new battery. I got it's on the table over here. I'll show you guys. Ford sent me a brand new battery. So I got it. We're in 2022 now. Also, I got some of this. We're gonna do a flush, some of that. This here is what you use, I think, for the, was it, power steering? Yeah, for the power steering. All right, well, let me continue going on with this thing and I'll show you guys what else I got going on. This is a new camera we're trying out. A little Sony ZV, what is it, ZV-1? My other camera, I dropped it on the ground. I broke the, 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 the part that comes in and out there, broke that, bent it, called Sony, called Sony, and asked him, I've had the camera two months, I said, is anything I can do is my fault? They said, we'll send you some uh, email stuff so you can send us, that was a week ago, so I haven't got it. All right, so you see the wheels are back on. Things are looking good here. Those nice tailpipes. So I haven't figured out what this mark is here for. If anybody knows, let me know. All right, I'll continue working on this thing and I'll show you guys as we go along. Yeah, I was walking over here to show you guys the seat. I'm gonna still clean up the seat here. The driver's seat was not as nice, not as nice as the passenger seat. I'll show you guys here. I mean, it still looked good. I mean, it's still nice for 30 years old. I guess that's just normal. We saw over on the other side there. Oh yeah, by the way. Remember I was talking about for the power mirrors. I couldn't find it back. It's right there. I hadn't noticed it was right right there so it does have power mirrors somebody uh, somebody wrote to us and told us and uh, I mean I didn't even notice that that's really too bad I didn't notice stuff like that so anyways look at that even the even here is really nice it's not even dirty somebody was writing me too telling me that's probably a, an immobilizer that we have in the car there that uh, I'll go about on the other side to show you guys. It's probably an immobilizer that we have in the car. Some kind of old alarm system. We'll have to have it taken out most likely. Right there. I'm hoping that there's no hole behind there. I still haven't looked to see. I don't want to unglue one until we're ready to. Then I'll have to find one of those parts. For the dash I hate to have to do that try to leave this car as original as possible that's the, the thing here is to leave it all original all right you guys all right yeah we're gonna be doing inspection on the trucks this week a couple of trucks are going to inspection our annual inspection we have every year the, the state government the government wants this it's a province thing. Uh, we're gonna send this truck here. We'll send this truck for inspection. And we'll send the, the truck on the end, the 450, the dump truck to inspection. This one here, we're gonna have the windshield changed this week. 
you can see the windshield see where it's cracked there I'll show you guys from the inside I'll show you guys from the inside what it looks like see that windshield where it's cracked there we're gonna have that done the guy that usually does it for us he's got something going on so we're gonna have a new company come in we're gonna see how that's gonna go we're also gonna do this truck here we'll do this one right here that's gonna go through the big inspection the big uh, government inspection and then we're this one here too usually goes pretty good. They usually they'll find a little something, but the trucks are really kept up to date. So we don't usually have any major problems. We don't usually have major problems. It's been a long time since we've had something. Uh, this truck here too, we just got the seat back. We had the seats in this truck and the another truck. We had them recovered. I had this little part right here. We had this recovered. Had a little rip in it. So we had that done. And the truck right here, right next to it, the one that I use, see where the leather, the leather had a little little tear in it right here. So they put us a new leather, a new bottom on it. Looks really good, did a really nice job. Same people that always do them for us. They, they've been doing them for years. Years and years and years for us. That's the way I am, I like to keep the same people around. Why? Uh, when it goes well with somebody, you might as well stick with them. That's why I look at it. It's what I hope our customers do with us. Yeah, so these trucks, couple of trucks inspection. So uh, we'll bring in the inspection. I'm gonna bring him to the inspection and we'll see how that goes. And I'll um, let you guys know if I, we'd have to do any repairs, I'll let you guys know, we'll fix them up. And I'll show you guys what we did, what we're doing. All right then.